Hello, Boris Pravisham here, and welcome, for the first time, to some survival on this channel. Uh, well, when I say first time, I don't mean my first time. Uh, I've played survival for a, a little while, on and off. This particular world, uh, well, I, I've been going for about six hours. I sort of just wanted to get over the, the first few hurdles. Uh, I didn't think that there was much in the way of sort of interesting that I could show because a lot of it is just welding uh, well it still is to be honest this game is mostly just welding so if you don't like welding then I don't recommend survival in this game um, this is the starting platform I started with uh, I didn't stay here for very long I sort of just erected a few defenses got set up stole a couple of craft and then set off for a, a new home um, this world was originally meant to be a multiplayer uh, adventure with a, a number of different people on a server, but it, it turned out it was a little more difficult to set up than I had hoped. Um, that might come in the future, but uh, due to some recent events in my life, I'll, I'll talk about them soon. I, I'm just going to try and do something uh, a little bit easier. Not not so serious, just sit back and, and talk about whatever I feel like talking about, basically. Um, what happened here? That must have... is that it? Yeah. Okay. So one must have snuck past that asteroid and cleaned that up. Um, <laughs> these are all things that I've stolen. Uh, I, I don't kn actually know that much about survival. I... Although I, I did say I have played it before, only in little bits and pieces, I think something might be able to hit this corner. But yeah, I, I've played it in little bits and pieces and mostly sort of just got fed up with it and, and stopped playing. I should have cleaned up. Um, what have I got in my inventory? 510 construction components, okay. Um, none of the what you're seeing now is... Um, a permanent setup, by the way. I'm just, you know, I, I don't have any plans. I'm making this up as I go along. Um, if you notice the the save time there, oh, there's a military escort. Um, the save time there. That's because this world is massive. There's uh, about 20 asteroids, large asteroids with moons and stuff, sort of near the edge. Before uh, I forget the term for it, but um, when the asteroids go. Uh, sort of see through and you can fly through with them and that there's a there's a, a barrier to the amount of stuff you can have um, as I said I, I'm not that knowledgeable about survival at the at the moment or well at any stage because I haven't played all that much of it um, like in this world I've even held off from making a ship this was sort of my first little hangar area to make a ship uh, I was going to do that. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do today. I pick up stones, apparently. I probably should do that. I'll just clean up a little bit while I'm here. Um, but perhaps I've done it wrong, but did they change the the other spacecraft that you could pirate? Did they change it so that they were all friendly? Because uh, all of a sudden, I started just flying up on them, and they they didn't shoot at me. So I, I've just made a collection, and it seems a bit cheaty and, and easy, but that's all right. Like, I'm not in it for the, the PvP. I just like building, basically. That's, that's all I do, building and hoarding, and then, you yeah, know, mostly hoarding and not keeping things organized. Uh, oh, yeah, I should probably show behind here. I've, I've just set up this little... Um, for some reason, I've named this um, this asteroid the Platform of Wonders, or the Asteroid of Wonders. Uh, behind this wall, I've got two refineries, two assemblers, and a storage crate, and a lot of mess that I haven't got around to cleaning up. Um, well, let's talk about uh, my channel. For the past couple of weeks, I've not uploaded anything. Uh, well, I have, but they've all been sort of pre-scheduled stuff that large fighter group build um, well two people isn't really a group is it like a pair build I suppose that I'm doing with Sleaford um, 
I, I still haven't actually finished recording that, but the stuff that you've been watching has been quite a fair way behind, which you, you might have noticed. Like, I, I pause a lot. You can see over here in this news box the <laughs> the date of the recording and everything like that, the, the update. That's the annoying thing about this game. Although it is very good that the devs update <laughs> every week, it means, yeah, the... Any any videos you make can be dated straight away, uh, which is annoying for those of us who make videos. But uh, yeah, the, these videos, by the way, these survival ones, it's mostly just going to be, going to be me going off on tangents. Um, what tangent was I currently on? That's right, videos. Um, I've not been making them due to a, a whole heap of... No, sorry, we were talking about why I had some videos up. They were the pre recorded ones that I had scheduled that um, didn't take me any effort, you know, they were already scheduled, I haven't made anything new for a couple of weeks um, partly I well, it's all just sort of personal stuff that has gotten in the way, whether it be work or um, unfortunately the, there's been a, a death in the family my grandfather aged 95 he died yeah it wasn't a, a surprise but yeah, it's still a sad thing to have happened um, I went to his funeral yesterday uh, indeed I, I I did the eulogy or the what did they call it there's a new word for the the eulogy something the reminiscence or something they called it, it sounded a little yeah for a fairly traditional looking church it was a fairly new agey sort of thing which wasn't Exactly <laughs> what my grandfather would have liked, but you know, yeah. Well, um, what was I? I just thought of something that I should do, and I forgot it immediately. Uh, yeah, that, that's also going to happen quite a bit. Um, well, not to say that I I didn't like it. He he was a a, a great man, and I I had great respect for him, and I, I, it was an honour to do the eulogy, but. Um, the reason being is that I've had quite a lot of sort of public speaking um, like even this my hobby is still in a way kind of public speaking but because of that it means that whenever I go to a like a, any sort of event that requires a speaker I tend to get volunteered for it you know I, pretty much every wedding I've ever been to I've done the speech whether it was the, the traditional thing or not. I guess it's not really traditional for the grand... Oh. Okay. I should have emptied my inventory. <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly traditional for the grandson to be um, performing, like, speaking the, the eulogy. Uh, but, um, yeah, that, I, I get volunteered for it. it it's a little bit annoying. Not not in that case, you know. I I, I said yes in a heartbeat to doing it for him, but it, it is a little, <laughs> a little annoying that I could never go to an event and, you know, none of the rest of my family sort of wanted to do that. Um, but yeah, it was really, uh, it was a good funeral, either way. It was nice and short, and yeah, I, I'm very proud of my family in in situations like that. Um, you know, not a tear was shed, which is exactly as he would have wanted it. We're very, very British, if you can imagine such a thing. A very, oh, did I do it again? Well, thanks for cleaning that up. I'm just losing all manner of stuff. I should really build a ship to grind this away, shouldn't I? Um, but yet when I say not a tear was shed, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, that's sort of how our, our family is. We pride ourselves on being able to restrain our emotions and, and stuff like that. And I know it's not really something, you know, we've gone through the self-esteem revolution in, in psychology and stuff like that. And it's not exactly um, a recommended sort of <laughs> coarse emotional constipation now, is it? But... Um, we still quite like that about ourselves that you know when it comes down to it we show our emotions in a rather respectful kind of way and yeah 
I, I don't really know what I'm talking about at the moment, but... Um, Sorry, I keep thinking of things that I want to do. I think once I finish grinding up this little bit, I'm going to start building a, another ship. Uh, there. I don't know if you can hear my voice, but I'm a bit sick. Um, actually, quite a bit sick. I've been sick for the past couple of weeks. It's just a cold, but it won't go away, and I, I lost my voice. Um, made it a bit difficult to record. <laughs> um, and I've also lost hearing in my left ear. So, at the moment, everything... It's very difficult to make use of positional audio in games. Luckily, this it doesn't matter too much in this one. Um, uh, another reason why... This is basically just a list of excuses. That's not what this videos, these videos are meant to be, but um, that's what I have to talk about this week. Uh, yeah, no, another thing that um, I did a couple of days ago was spend... A, a lot of time prepping for the fire season, which is something that um, we're having to take more and more seriously here in, in many parts in Australia. So we, we've had a lot more fires than usual over the past decade, and we had a quite a reasonably close call last year, uh, indeed the year before as well. Um, so just doing a lot of the general sort of prepping. Fire season starts after September. Usually, it depends. You know, it's, it's all been a bit out of whack lately, but um, yeah, just general cleaning up. Uh, uh, if I was any good at it, I would probably um, volunteer. There's the, the rural rural fire brigade uh, does has done a heap of backburning. They've done a very good job um, all around the the region, uh, and I what was that? Yeah. I've got um, family and friends that volunteer there. Um, it, it's not like I I, <laughs> I... I go along to like social events with them and, and that sort of thing. I, I would be terrible uh, if I did try you know, to volunteer. That's not really my sort of thing. But um, nonetheless, we did it at our home. Ooh. There we go. Right. I'm going to start building a, a ship. Sorry about that, as I said, I, I am a bit sick at the moment, so I might need to stop from time to time. Um, I changed my mind. In order to build that ship, um, I'm going to build a drilling ship, I think, but I wanted to do it over in the, the hangar area over here, so I want to get a, a pipe running from the refinery. Well, this is all connected into the system right across I'll just, I think I'll just build like a tunnel, maybe. Um, I'm not really, I think all these bits and pieces, yeah, they'll all collect down there. I've got it set at a thousand, so uh, things don't generally disappear too quickly. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll run a, a pipe all the way through. Hopefully I'm drilling straight at the moment, I'm not turning around corners. I'll just run a pipe through the asteroid and put a cargo container or just something at the other end so I can um, pull things through so I'm not running back and forward um, although that does sound a bit like an excuse you see I spend all of my time on these sorts of projects getting ready to do something instead of just doing it um, but I promise after I run this pipe and I do seem to be going up and to the left a little bit um, after I run this pipe through then I will actually make a drilling ship which might not be in today's episode. Um, these episodes I'm just going to upload whenever I've got something to talk about or or do. It's not going to be regular. See, that, that's part of the thing I wanted to talk about. Um, yes, this, this is just a hobby of mine. Uh, I just do it for fun, making these little videos. And I don't want to put myself under too much pressure or... Thanks for that. I should go and turn that ship off, I suppose. Um, after I charge up. Yeah, I don't want to put myself under any pressure. You see, um, I this is my second gaming channel that I, I've run. I, I ran one uh, for three years, I think, uh, ending at the very end of... No, the very start of 2013. Um, I, I just had various things on there from... 
you know, Minecraft. I, I, did, I played a lot of, uh, I guess you could call them nerdy sort of games. Um, one that comes to mind, I'm just looking at it right now, and the, the, the case, I've actually got it in a case. Like, I didn't download that one, I, I actually bought that game. Um, the physical copy, which is an odd thing to do these days, but um, there. Uh, Supreme Ruler 2020, just a, a, what do they call them, a, a ground, oh, that's not going to go away, is it? Is that, it's not going to stop me. Did they fix that? Like, I can actually grind away that, that bit and it's no longer an asteroid. Huh. Used to be that if you left a hanging bit like that, it would become a separate asteroid and you couldn't destroy it. But it looks like they, they fixed that. Either that or it's still there and it's just a glitch. I don't know. Uh, what was I talking? Oh, uh, yeah, I played a lot of sort of nerdy games. Um, oh, there. I, I kind of started after the alpha release of, of Minecraft, like a lot of people. Uh, I managed to make my way up to about seven and a half thousand subscribers. Not that it, like, uh, to be honest, I, I couldn't even tell you how many subscribers this channel has right now. I, it's not something that I, I bother with. I, I do this for fun. Um, not that I'm saying those that do care about it are any way bad. It gets from person to person. That's right. I was going to turn that ship off as well. Um, it's just that over the years I've met quite a few people who do YouTube for the sake of the, you know, the subscribers and the views and that sort of thing. That's right. It's 2G, so that fall's going to hurt me. Um, I don't think I even have a medical um, room over here. Um, it's there that I get in. Didn't even need to come down the door. Um, yeah, I've met quite a few people who, who do this sort of thing. Oh, hang on. I think the cockpit's gone. Yeah, on this ship, the cockpit sits here. Okay. Uh, where can we go to turn all of this off? In here. It's annoying there's not a way to just quickly turn it off without getting in the... Oh, uh, I won't just be able to go down, will I? Oh, that'll be enough. I don't care about the rest. Hmm. Um, but yeah, it, it was actually T Tazu who um, messaged me on Skype to tell me I, to congratulate me on my first thousand subscribers on this one, um, which came as a surprise because I, I thought I only had two hundred or something at the time. Um, yeah, I got quite a, a few subscribers, and um, I, I started. Uh, concentrating too much on I, I guess you could call it the business aspect of YouTube and you know trying to make videos that people will watch rather than videos that you like doing for the sake of doing it uh, which is what I'm doing on this channel you'll notice that a lot of them aren't very professional professionally made they're not um, you know they're kind of like this just doing whatever I feel like doing because I, I enjoy making videos and well, I'm not going to make it through this, am I? Like, anytime soon. Let's just press ahead and see what happens. I get stuck. Um, what was I talking about? See, that's a, that's a prime example of <laughs> not being very professional. Uh, the, well, yeah, the, the reason I, I quit was I, I started really not liking what I was doing. Um, I, I was making videos, like I spent ages trying to get videos perfect and starting to get, you see I, I have a fairly thick skin, I, I don't really care um, what people sort of say in, in comments in that, you know, it's a well trot, trotted out subject, That uh, there's lots of other people who have talked about that sort of thing before, you know, just yeah, um, but in, in my effort to try and make better videos, I ended up making worse ones. And you know, the minute that you do something slightly not up to standard on the internet, you get called out for it immediately <laughs> and uh, rather hatefully. 
and there was only so much of that I could sort of take and I didn't enjoy it. I started, you know, the minute I wrote up a schedule, see, I'm a very, you know, I, I like to sort of keep a, what was that? No, I thought I heard something. Um, I like to, to keep to a, a schedule as much as I can, but the minute that I, I think that's what I worked out, the, the problem was, the minute that I scheduled a video, that I said, all right, every Tuesday and Thursday I'm going to do this, there came a problem, because that meant I had to force something. I had to, you know, I had a due date. I set myself a due date, which for some people works really well, but for me it just means I force things. And so I, I'm not going to do that as much for this channel. Um, I, I'm going to do things when I... I feel like doing them. Sometimes that'll mean there aren't many videos. Other times it means there'll be, you know, <laughs> half a dozen in one week. Depends on my mood. Um, you know, if you don't like it, then yeah, this channel's probably not for you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Alienating people in my first survival video. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, we're still sort of going straight. Yep. I wonder how far we are through. How could I tell that? I'd have to just guess, couldn't, wouldn't I? Mm. I'll keep going. We are going to make it through. That's what we're going to do today, is we're going to make it through this asteroid. Uh, <laughs> and yet that, I, I got um, fed up with that, and I, I sort of left in a huff. I, I deleted my account without doing anything. I, I did it all. Um, sort of spur of the, the moment I got annoyed and it, it took me about a year until I was until I well I found this game basically it was more than a year isn't it I, I thought it, that it would be a, a fun way to come back and, that, and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to be more relaxed about it just make videos when I feel like it I'm not just going to make videos that talk about me making videos but uh, I, I think that's why I'm going to start the survival series now, because I'm not particularly comfortable with just talking. Uh, I never really did Let's Play videos. Uh, they were all sort of, you know, here's something I made, uh, write a script up, well not, you know, write a script, just have a few dot points, and then heavily edit a video. You see this one, I'm not going to do anything to it at all. It's just going to be me talking. Uh, and. I think this is what relates to my life in general. I, I'm just not comfortable enough with spontaneity, with you know doing things just because I can, rather than planning every single second of them. Oh. Oh, come on. So while these videos might have gone on a very, yeah, <laughs> yeah, while, while we've we've got to straighten this out. Uh, so while these videos are very haphazard, these survival ones, I think they're the ones that I'm going to try and concentrate on doing a bit more, because I, I feel they're not putting me under any sort of pressure. I know this channel has, what, 30 videos on it or something like that, so, <laughs> but um, overall I must be nearing, you know, my 300th video, gaming video I've made for YouTube. I've also made um, a few hundred comedy videos. These are all under different aliases. I, <laughs> the, I kind of want, wanted to bring them all together now under under this name, but my my comedy things fell through. I know in these videos I don't particularly like sound particularly funny. You know, I have a serious sort of accent and and demeanour, but. Um, you know, I, I like to think of myself as an amateur sort of comedian. I've done stand-up and, and sketches uh, and panel shows as, as well, both on the devising end to, uh, and the performing, and nothing big, just you know, mostly online.
Anyway, this has been a bit of a mess. I, I'm sorry about that. I am, you know, learning how to do this. This doesn't come naturally to me. Uh, my storytelling ability is fairly low at the moment, but I, I managed to get that about through to where I want it, so I'll be able to run a, a, a pipe through here. Uh, I'll have to smooth it out a little bit and make it wide enough, and then I'll have a cargo container. I'll do this off camera and then hopefully it means out in this hangar next episode I can start building probably a drilling ship but I, I don't make any guarantees uh, thank you for sticking around if you managed to make it this far through this this sort of haphazardly slapdash video <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try and upload a few more you know where I come up with ideas and anyway thank you for watching goodbye